In 2006, the MBTA proposed a fair increase, which was voted and approved on November of the same year. In January 2007, the T Rider Union started conducting surveys to find out how the riders felt about the fare increase. The T Riders Union, together with On the Move and Senator Barrows, drafted the language for the debt relief bill that was introduced on January 2007. Members and legislators testified in front of the Transportation Committee. After the bus marathon on 2006, the T Riders Union organized the Ride a Thon on 2007. Members were able to go on buses, do outreach, and let people know about what T Riders Union was doing. One of the milestones for the T Riders Union was a series of training that members were able to take. These were media training, legislation training, and outreach training. Members of the T-Riders Union participate and testified on the MBTA Board of Directors monthly meeting, letting them know about the importance of service improvement. My name is Stuart Smila and I am a 16-year-old student here on the behalf of the T-Riders Union and I am asking the MBTA to consider acquisition of 100 buses from New Flyer Industries and or North American Bus Industries at an estimated sum not to exceed $31,250,000. As a result of the monthly meeting with the MBTA board, the T-Riders Union set up a meeting with the Director of Bus Operations, Cheryl Hinton, and Director of Bus Service Planning, Jim Falk. They came to the September T-Riders Union monthly meeting. Although the T-Riders Union meeting with Cheryl Hinton and Dave Carney from the MBTA did not go as planned, the group soon found out that one recommendation from members Peggy Jarrett did go through. Starting this December, Bus 19 will extend its hours of operation to the evening and weekends. This is a huge victory, especially considering that bus service improvement generally go through a two-year service planning process at the MBTA before any changes. As the news covered the possibility of another fair increase in 2009 and the transportation funding crisis in Massachusetts, the T Riders Union got word that the MBTA debt relief bill will put to a study, effectively killing the legislation until next season. Instead of giving up, members agreed to write personal letters to the governor telling their stories and emphasizing the need for more funding, especially to public transportation. Among all the work at the T Board meeting and the State House, T Riders members found that to support the call for curvy reform at the State House rally and continue their effort to reach out to riders to station outreach, neighborhood events, and local residential de um, development and organization. True will continue to fight to not only win service improvement and fix the state's transportation funding crisis, but grow a basic of writers and more leaders from communities of Roxbury, Dorchester, and Chelsea.